Hey guys, Jack here, and thanks for tuning in to the next Wicked Triplet video. In the previous video, I showed you guys how to um, take that sticking pattern that was originally played on just a practice pad or a snare drum and apply it to the ride cymbal, uh, putting all the right-hand accented notes on the ride cymbal with the bass drum and keeping all the non-accented notes on the snare drum with the left hand, and that became this. One, two, three, four... variations on that. Today we're going to expand that even further. So the, the constant thinking here is, you probably uh, heard me say this countless times in my videos, just trying to come up with as many possibilities as you can by reorchestrating it around the kit in different ways from that one sticking pattern. And that sticking pattern at the start was just this. Okay, we put it on the ride. We added the bass drum. Okay, now there's lots of different things we can do from here as well. The first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to put all of the right-hand accents that are in the first bar on the first tom. And any right-hand accent that's in the second bar is going to be on the floor tom. Okay, so you only need a four-piece kit uh, like I'm using here, a Sleeshman uh, bop size drum kit, 18-inch bass drum, 12-inch tom, 14-inch tom. Check that out. It goes like this. So instead of being over here, we're now here. All right, so you might want to start that out really slow. It's three and a four and a. All right, and gradually speed it up as you get more comfortable with it. you'll get it to like or faster so that's one thing you can do with it of course uh, let's go back to how we did it in the previous video where all the right hand accents were on the ride all right this time instead of all of the uh, in-between notes being on the snare and softer we're gonna put the left hand notes this time on the toms right hand still on the ride symbol but as we play them around the toms, we're not going to play them so soft anymore because we're really not going to hear them uh, kind of in the mix once we've got the ride cymbal, especially if I'm starting to crash on the ride cymbal and stuff as well. So I'll bring them up a little bit on the toms as well. So first of all, just get used to even doing um, you know, all the notes on one tom. We'll start with the first tom. So that'd be like this. this feel when you start uh, accenting all those crash notes as well. Then put your left hand on the floor tom, same thing. Kind of like the thinking that we did at the start where all the right hand accents in the first bar are on the first tom and all the right hand accents in the second bar are on the floor tom. We'll do the same thing now but that's just going to apply to the left hand. So any left hand notes in the first bar go on the first tom, any left hand notes in the second bar go on the floor tom. So that now just the hands sounds like this, one and a two and a three and a four and a... And we're going to end just on the snare. And to end, of course, you want to be putting the bass drum in there as well. So slowly you'd get... Maybe 
now go the other way. And mix and match, come up with your own combinations and, and try and expand on the things that I'm showing you in this video and come up with your own stuff on top of that, all right? Because that's the whole idea. Just take someone's idea, make it your own, invent new stuff out of it. All right, so that's cool. That's, you know, taking this original pattern We've done it heaps of different ways now, okay? So try some of that stuff out. I hope you enjoy it.